Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll be learning about JavaScript arrays. Array. An array is a collection of similar type of data. An array can contain more than one value at a time. To declare an array, we use the var keyword of jQuery followed by array name. Like here, we have used numbers as the name of array which is followed by var and we have given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as values to this array. Similarly, in the below example, we have given some strings as values to that array. Like student, here is student is an array which contains Raj, Abhishek, Pratik, Rahul, these as variables, these as values. So, these two numbers and student are arrays. Let's see how arrays can be implemented practically using jQuery. In this HTML document, we are using h1 to display our heading arrays. In our script tag, we have declared an array named student which contains an array of strings as Raj, Abhishek, Pratik and Rahul. This is an array. We are using console.log to log our array. Now we are using variable length to store the length of our array which is obtained using student.length. Any array's length can be obtained using array name followed by dot operator followed by length property. It will return length of the array. Similarly, we are using console.log to log its length as well. Now, to obtain any value of array, a single element of an array, we can use bracket notation and inside bracket, bracket notation, we can specify the index number of the element which we want to access. Here, I am passing student followed by one in the in bracket. So this one will return Abhishek as output. But why it will return Abhishek as output? Why not Raj? Because in array, indexing starts from number zero. Now, you'll be wondering why I have commented out the student.pop and student.push. So, dot .pop method removes the last element from array and dot .push method adds the element at the end of the array. We'll see these later. First, we'll see the output of these things. Here, we can see we have got output as Raj, Abhishek, Pratik and Rahul, which is nothing but our array. We have returned length as 4 and we got second element as Abhishek which was at index 1. Now let's remove comment from student.pop and see the output. So I'm removing this comment and adding comment to student.push only this time. Let's save this and check our output. So I've pressed F5. And now we can see updated array one, which returned Raj, Abhishek and Pratik and removed Rahul this time. Now I'll comment out dot push as well. When I comment out dot push, Rajesh should be added to our array. I'm saving this. And when I refresh this page, we get an updated array two as output, which contains four elements again and added Rajesh at the end of array. So this was all about arrays and its operations. Thank you.